Look, Mr. Powhatan, I have to get you and your daughter out of here. My boss, he's not happy, and I'm worried he might do something drastic soon. I'll be damned if my father and I run away. Why don't you let me try and talk to him? <sighs> I was worried you might say that. Pokey, that's ridiculous. Who knows what he's capable of? If anything, I'll go. No, Dad, not in your condition. Trust me, I can do this. <sighs> Fine, but you have to do what I say. Pokey, are you okay? John, why do you even work for that asshole? And why did you never tell me? It's a long story. Fine. I was in a very bad time in my life and needed some cash. Mr. Ratcliffe, you found me and took me in. The money was good, paid in cash. I just didn't ask any questions, but this goes too far. Pokey, I think Mr. Ratcliffe means to kill your father. Are you sure you still want to do this? As sure as I'll ever be. Hold on, just wait in the car for a second. I'll go talk to him for a bit and I'll be right back. Fine. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. Oh, and John? Thank you. Powhatan needs more time. I think we should... You think? I don't appear to think. I appear to act and to listen to me. And I want my goddamn money. Yes, sir. I know, but Mr. Powhatan is unable to work. And what little money he has left, he's put towards his daughter's college fund. Oh, so he has a daughter. Maybe she can work it out. Bring with the girl. What do you say? I can't do that. I won't. Are you saying no to me? I said, are you saying no to me? I see you have right, right to me. I'm tense and I have need for a disobedient dog. Yeah. <laughs> 